What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Face Jasper as always. Um, one thing firstly, uh, I didn't want to say it now, but I do want to say it kind of thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm going to be editing a, you know, a 30,000 K, oops, uh, a 30 K special soon to go up Sunday. So that's why I didn't want to really mention it. And also the spots at, were sold out in like three hours, 15 spots. So um, I already did like, it's two days now, so I already did some. Uh, so check your emails and see if you got it. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about my back and bicep workout routine and basically how I split it up in the week. So as you guys all know, I train six days a week um, and I do every single, every single muscle group I do twice. I do legs twice, I do chest twice, I do shoulders twice, back twice, and so on and so forth. So I do everything twice, um, which is very, you know, it's very good for me. Um, and also a little update on the, uh, that I do three exercises for the main muscle. Um, that's going very, very well. And um, yeah, we're just going to see if it works and if it helps out for my shoulder. Um, so yeah, so I basically split up every single thing. Um, so I basically split up my chest and my back in two different days. So I do two different kind of exercises on one in each day. So for example, today we're gonna to talk about the back and how I do tackle that. So uh, on Tuesday and on Fridays, I train back. Uh, on Tuesdays, so the second day of the week for me, I do more of a pooling uh, day. So I do all the pull mo mo uh, motions. So I do pull ups, I do lat pull downs, and I do, for example, a straight bar pull down, um, which is all very targeted towards the lats. Um, and on the second day, I do more of a row day. Um, I do start with pull ups, though, because I really want to get better and stronger at pull ups, because I think uh, this is going to really help me out uh, with my body composure, with my back development, with my bench press. Um, so that's why I do pull ups on, on every single go back um, um, workout but um, after that I do go to the rowing movements and that really targets the other all the other little muscles in the group the traps uh, the rear delts even uh, that's how I split it up so um, right now I'm just gonna go through you guys with how uh, a normal rowing day looks for me um, first of all I start with the pull-ups as I said and then I move on to something like the bend over row um, the bend over row you can do in two different ways which I find very very helpful or even three different ways um, I do one underhand, I do three sets for underhand grip, and then I do two sets with overhand grip as well. Um, this really targets a very different part of the back for me, uh, which feels super, super nice. If I do more of a overhand grip, I feel a little bit more in my rear delts, and also a little bit more in my traps area, I can really squeeze it there. And then when I do underhand, I kind of feel like in the lower part of the lats, so where, you know, your lower back and the lats kind of, you know, where that... Uh, in that one, the, the muscle insertion is. Um, then I did today. Um, I did like a um, a cable row. Uh, I should say a V bar row. This you can also do in a machine. But this is just such a nice exercise. I really squeeze it between the traps. So retracting my scapula and really squeezing about my shoulder blades. Um, and I really feel it in the traps and the lower back area sometimes as well, depending on how far you lean back or forward. Um, so you really want to uh, play with that. And then also something like a low row, I can finish it off. But today I decided it was enough for me. Um, as I said, I was trying to do three exercises for the main muscle groups. Um, so then I went on to my bicep exercises. Uh, I did two exercises. Today I chose to do these wall curls. And these are so, so nice, guys. If you do wall curls, Oh my god, our world's gonna open for you guys. Um, they're a little bit different from the normal v easy bar curves, obviously because you have less um, space to play with, as you could say. So your elbows are stuck against the wall and that's why your tension is gonna be on the muscle the whole movement. There's no room for error, there's no room for anything else to be worked but your biceps. So you're gonna feel a crazy, crazy pump by this. Uh, this is so nice, just please please try it out. Uh, then I also did some bicep curls just with the dumbbell. And as you can see, you're a little bit more free here. And I was looking back at the footage and I wasn't really pleased with the way I handled my, my elbow and the placing of it. Uh, as you can see on the screen right now, um, at the end of the movement, my elbow comes too far forward, a little bit too far of my liking. Uh, I would like to keep it more sta uh, statue, more, you know, 
more composed, uh, as you could say, when my elbow's back. I don't want my shoulders or anything like that to do the movement for me. I really want to target the biceps. So, um, yeah, don't swing on the bicep curls. Do it very nice and controlled. As you could see in, in all the video, I do all my movements very, very controlled. So, um, yeah. That was it, kind of guys, for this workout and how I really split up my back uh, days. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up on it. Um, I'm really looking forward to start editing this video for the 30k uh, special because it's a very special video for, for me. Uh, 30,000 subscribers is, is a number for me that means a lot in a weird way because I feel like it makes it more legit. 20k was like, ah, oh, you got a cool YouTube channel. 30k is like, oh damn, he's actually putting work in it. So uh, 30k for me is a special number. So that's why I want to do a 30k special. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.